Hey guys, this is Metal Stash again. Um, this video I'm going over uh, my more complex unit movement. Let me move this recorder out of the way real quick. Um, the video before this, I kind of put these out of order, but neither one of them was really uh, more important to do versus the other. I uh, I'd done unit avoidance before my more complex movement, but either one it doesn't really matter. Uh, so to get into it, uh, it's not really much to go into my unit itself, because um, I had gotten into that in my unit avoidance video, and uh, a lot of that is just changing over to a custom script instead of the character controller. So going into my code. Most of it uh, I changed in the player controller itself. The uh, player controller's movement command, which is the right bu uh, mouse button, uh, has had most of the change. Where uh, I've implemented a flocking system where I need to send the uh, center of the squad, which is the center of the selected units uh, position to each unit so I just add up all their positions and then divide by the uh, number of them that there are then uh, to tell if the uh, if I want the squad to flock which means they just come together uh, randomly instead of moving to a relative position I uh, check the mouse position um, which is the hit command to the center of the squad and if that distance is less than uh, the distance from the center to any of the units then the click is inside of the units I uh, range so they need to flock so that they come to more of a circular mass um, then this is where I really tell the the units what to do that if it if I if you want to flock then send a message flock true else it's false and then also send the uh, center of the squad value to the unit and then finally command the unit at that point so to see how that comes out over here the send message is just basically uh, it sends the message over all its children um, you could just call the function but I kinda like send message a little better because it's more semantic um, so you get the relative center here I save that in squad center I get the fl uh, flocking variable here so if it's flocking it knows that it needs to flock so that comes into play when it needs to move um, so if it's not flocking that means it's just moving to uh, it's like ar they're already a squad and they need to move to a point uh, somewhere on the map so what I do is I get the offset which is the position um, difference between its position and the squad center then I take the uh, point where it's been told to move to and add that offset to it so that it's basically just moving on a, a path where it'll end up in the same position relative to where it started uh, so I calculate that path and uh, that's about it for that I mean there really isn't much to it I just kinda wanted to go over that with you guys um, to see how it happens I can select all these units and I can tell them to move down this way and you see how they move kind of in a relative position to there's the uh, center of the squad so they're always um, moving like that 
Now, if I move them to a point that is less than any of these um, distances, then every unit will move to that position and then flock. And then if I move them over right here, they're going to move as a relative squad. I know this is kind of shorter than most of my videos, guys, but it really wasn't that big of a subject. But I think it it's a uh, cool thing to look at just because it's pretty simple to implement. And I kind of noticed it from uh, StarCraft, the way they did it, that if you moved units around the map, they moved like a squad. But if you moved them towards each other, they flock. So uh, thank you guys for watching again. And uh if you guys got any comments or questions, please post them. Uh, please subscribe or like, whatever. And uh, see you guys later.